Welcome back to the Grand Solar Minimum channel. Today is Wednesday, July 17th, 2019. Our solar wind speeds are sitting at 442.3 kilometers per second with a density of 1.7. Our sun is blank. That now makes it nine days in a row without sunspots, giving us a total of 127 in 2019 without sunspots. Our KP indices is at a two and our 24 hour max is also at a two. And taking a look at the SDO in motion, we see a coronal hole that is turning away from Earth. We are expecting effects from this coronal hole sometime around July 19th. Minor geomagnetic activity is possible from this coronal hole. And now here's Mari. Thank you, Jake. The U.S. Department of Agriculture released its latest weekly crop progress report. The weather is not making it any easier as farmers wonder about the status of their late planted crops. The condition of corn and soybeans that are considered good or excellent has been 60% or lower now for five straight weeks, according to the USDA. This week's report had the condition of corn at 58% and the condition of soybeans at 53%. Last year at this time, corn was at 72% and soybeans were at 69%. Extended rain and flooding during much of the planting season has made for a difficult year for the U.S. farmers. Many farmers we speak to have been farming for 30 years or more with some over 50 years of experience and everyone says they have never seen a year like this. In some parts, our farms are flooded out while other farms are drying out with localized heat waves. Next week, it's possible the good to excellent corn conditions might drop below 55%. There are more or becoming aware of the food shortage crisis. Michael Snyder wrote an article yesterday about the signs going up in stores nationwide. It's good to see this topic get more exposure. He states, sadly, the economic law of supply and demand is going to continue to push prices higher. The tighter the food supplies become, the higher the prices will go. Since the mainstream media is being completely silent about this, Many people on social media don't have much information to go on. Speculation is rampant and many are fearing the worst. U.S. farmers have been suffering with endless rain and flooding in the middle of the country. Sometimes a picture is worth a thousand words. This is the before and after photo from Nebraska. It speaks volumes. We know that the food production in the United States is going to be way below expectations this year. The shortage of canned vegetables has already begun. A full-blown crisis has not arrived yet, but perhaps one is a lot closer than many of us had anticipated. As always, we'll keep you updated on the Grand Solar Minimum channel. Please like and share.